The Hair Transplant Network is the largest hair restoration community created by patients to help you find the best hair loss treatments and surgeons based on results. Yeah, so let's let's jump right into it. Um, there's a lot of people that are scared of of oral minoxidil. Um, I, I personally started taking it back in August. Uh, currently taking about uh, 2.5 to 5 milligrams um, daily. And so it's been great. I've no side effects, no edema, no, uh, you know, arrhythmia from my heart, no heart palpitations, nothing like that. I do feel like my body hair grows faster, but that's about it. Um, but there's a lot of concerns of, of, of uh, you know, heart issues. People are scared that there might, you know, they might be at increased risk of like a heart attack or something like that. And so they're very scared. And I know you did a, a large study uh, in 2021 looking at cases and, and I was very shocked and surprised to see that the serious adverse effects was only like, I believe, 1%, 1.3% or something like that. Um, so maybe you could talk a little bit more about that. Yes, in fact, this multicenter study that has been the largest study, uh, largest published study to date, included uh, more than 1,400 patients treated with low dose oral minoxidil. And interestingly, we didn't observe any serious side effects. Uh, only 1.7% of the patients had to stop the treatment due to side effects. It means that more than 98% of the patients tolerated well the treatment and in the cases that the patients had to stop the treatment due to side effects, these side effects were mild or moderate, mainly hypertrichosis, fluid retention, lightheadedness, or tachycardia. So this study strongly supports the good safety profile of low-dose oral minoxidil for different types of alopecia, not only androgenetic alopecia, but also telogenic fluvium, alopecia reata, or cicatricial alopecias. Uh, at least in Spain, one of the main problems of oral minoxidil is that we have to compound it. So uh, when we deal with a patient with a systemic side effects, the most frequent cause in our environment is a compounding mistake. So it's really important that if the uh, medication is compounded uh, properly, the risk of systemic side effects is very low and the risk of serious side effects is really, really low.